So let's understand the second type of file organization, which is the files sorted on some field, and this is also known as order or sequential or sorted file organization. So in the first one, we were not having any particular order of storing the records. But here in this type, we are actually going to store the records based on some field. So and how it will be sorted. Suppose we are selecting a field which is like, let's take here example, SID, student ID. So I'm taking my field SID and I'm sorting my file based on the SID that it should be one, two, three onwards then that file becomes a ordered file, ordered student data file, which is sorted on the student ID. This is another type of organization and this makes the file already in the sorted manner. So what is, what is the concept? Stored in the order of some field. As I told just now, here in an example, we are taking that field as SID. The field which you are using for the sorting of the file or the ordering of the file is known as the ordering field or the sort key. Suppose the ordering field that you have chosen is already a key of the file, primary key or some candidate key of the file. That means it is unique in each and every record of the file. In that case, the ordering field is known as ordering key field. Okay, if These all are, are just the terms. The idea is we are going to sort the file, we are going to store the file or the records of the file based on one particular field and sorted order. Now, once you are ordering the file or sorting the file, now you, you think yourself what operation is going to get effect from this change of nature. So here are your four operations. Now you see how you are going to make a search. Because we know that the file is already ordered. Now, if, if your application is actually putting queries based on the student ID, okay, I want to access the record where the student ID is this equal to X or equal to, sorry, equal to S1, S2, S3, whatever student ID. In that case, you see that how you have to look for that particular record. It's it's known to us, it's known to the DBMS that this file is sorted on the SID. So it just have to perform one search, which is the binary search. Okay, rather than performing a linear search as in the previous case, now we are going to perform the binary search. And if it is binary search, then we all understand what could be the maximum time taken. The order of log base to n n is number of blocks so if your file is taking up total number of blocks as n then maximum in the worst case in the maximum case we have to make access to this this particular value okay because it's binary search so going to get applied file is already sorted earlier the file was not sorted at all because the search is this much so what is the time of updation and deletion of course equivalent to this because for updating something or for deleting some record first of all we need to retrieve we have to locate or search it so whatever time would be taken up for the search will be the maximum time of course some time will be required for deleting it manually and rewriting and then updating it and rewriting that time i'm actually not considering to make it simpler the time i'm considering for each operation is to, in order to locate it so this was about the three operation. Now look for the insertion. What is the time taken for insertion of a new record? Since you are putting up all the records in a particular order, so you will have to locate or find out the position for the new record coming where it fits. If you are trying to insert something which have a place in between of all the records, then you have to go make a shift and find out, make up space for that record to get fit into this by you know accessing a new block or attaching a new block to it so insertion is not that easy it's not that however it is coming you are storing you are because storing on the sorted manner so whenever a new record comes you have to find out its fixed position in the sorted file where it fits and there you have to go and insert it for that you might have to shift the furthermore blocks or you might have to attach a new empty block by the link list so that's the detailed part now here only quickly I would go for the third type which is the hash based file organization. Nothing but then the change is going to happen only on the whatever field you have that field 
we will choose and we will apply a hash function on it. So here, how you are going to find out the location for a record to get stored, the block number, how will you know that in which block, which record should go, we will apply some hash function on the some field, whatever ordering field we are selecting, that, that will be known as hash field now. So whatever ordering hash field we are selecting on that, we will apply the hash function, some hash function, okay? And that will give us the block number. So that record will go into that particular block number. Accordingly, all the records will be stored in the hash-based organization. So how that makes access faster? It makes access faster because you will know whatever record you are trying to look for it, you will look the field value of that particular record, compute the uh, value by the help of hash function and you will go particularly to that block only and access that. So that is hash based. Now uh, somebody might be thinking which organization is good, which organization is bad. None of the organization could be considered as the worst or the best. It is actually dependent on your application that you are going to run over the data. So DBMS provides lots of type of file organization, but it becomes a duty of your DBA to choose the file organization wisely by knowing the pattern of the use of that particular data. That this application is going to make use more of the this particular field of the file. So my file should be actually stored in such manner so that my, all my operations can get access fastly. This is it about this video. I will see you once again in the next video where we are going to understand the basic terms like blocking factor, span and the unspanned record, dense and the sparse index file so that we can move for the index file concept in the next video. See you once again very soon. Till then, bye-bye and take care.